It is nearly St. Patrick's Day and there are no rainbows for my gold. Oh, I know where. Hmm, right here will do. Wait, what's this? Green tea Kit Kats, all on an 8x12 base plate? Whoa, an actual leprechaun? Yeah, I get that a lot. This is my all new Lego candy machine. Can you show me how it works? To see it in action, continue watching this video. Wait, what? As I take the top off the machine, the coin rejection mechanism becomes clear. For some of you who don't know this mechanism, let me quickly explain it to you. Simply what happens with this mechanism is that small coins are not able to stand up on these two small bars right here, this grey one and this greyish black one. Now as I put a penny in, it can't stand up on either bar, so what happens when I pop it in, it falls down into this hole, the coin rejection hole. Same thing happens for nickels and dimes, and that simply happens because, you know, they're not the appropriate size either. I hope you guys understand that, because what happens with a quarter is a little bit different. So when I put a quarter in, it actually goes over these bars because it is a big coin, and it actually falls into this hole. So look closely. Now we're pretty much at the core of the machine, where all the magic of the mechanism happens. For you to best see this, I'm going to remove this piece. And now we are mostly focused on this yellow bar and the red ramp. So what happens with this machine is that when this is locked, you can only pull it out a little bit, but basically it's paralyzed because it's attached to this red ramp. Now what this red ramp does, it actually holds on or it actually is caught rather by this yellow bar and this yellow bar is actually attached to a peach peg which is pretty much the magic element in this mechanism so once again as we push and pull we can actually see that the peach peg is stopping the ramp from moving and the ramp since it's attached to the dispenser means that this is locked however that is all changed with the power of 25 cents so what we do when we put it in it raises up this side by pushing down pretty much the right side if we look at it like this. And guess what? This yellow bar is no longer blocking the ramp. So we can pull this out. The quarter actually falls. And then we can actually pull out the dispenser. Then we can take off our Kit Kat. So yeah, we can take off our Kit Kat, push it back in. And this goes back behind the ramp. 